Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Hero bringing Sagittarius's their weekly love read. Sagittarius, this is for the week of August 1st through August 7th. Uh, we are going to get cards on you, them, and the connection. These are general reads, guys, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read at all, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. If you are unsure of what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to a web page to get you that information. Um, there's also a link in the description box below to my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. And guys, there's actually a free love reading contest going on through the end of July 2022. Um, sorry, I can't do two things at once very well. Um, if you're interested in getting into that. So uh, if you are interested in getting into the free love reading contest, there is a uh, video on my YouTube page. I believe it's labeled Free Love Reading Contest. It was done in July of 2022. I don't know the exact date, but mid-July, mid I think. Um, Mid-late July. And if you go to that video, you have to like it, you have to comment on it, and you have to subscribe to my page. If you do those three things, guys, you will be put into a drawing to win a free love read from yours truly. So if you're interested in that, check that out. But, um... All right, let's get into your energies, guys. Um, you, them, and the connection, we're going to get some oracle cards, and we're going to finish the read off with a heart songs, songs in the keys of love from the 90s deck um, as well. So for you, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like uh, I feel like you are kind of showing up in this very slow energy. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is like slow and steady kind of willing to be committed, willing to work on something, you're just not really moving super quickly in the situation. The thing I like about the pentacles is that it's long-term. It is committed. It is loyal. It is stable. You're also showing up as the queen of pentacles. So to me, this is someone who is, again, loyal, committed, stable. This is a caretaker. This is a provider. This is a nurturer. This is someone who um, wants to kind of nurture a family, wants to create a house, wants a marriage, wants to be a partner with their husband or wife. Um, but then we have the devil card here, guys. Um, so I feel like this is like obsessive thinking. The devil is kind of any kind of a negative energy that gets in your way. It could be lots of things. It could be a karmic relationship. It could be codependent uh, tendencies. It could be drug addictions. It could be sex addictions, addictions of any sort. Um, it could be obsession. But to me, I feel like this is often like overthinking, obsessive thoughts, um, a need to control. Uh, so I feel like as much as you want to be this loyal, consistent, stable person, I think you are. But I feel like you have a hard time uh, stopping your thoughts um, and feeling like you need to be in control of a situation. I feel like that tendency to need to be able to control um just kind of runs your mind like it, you can't think of anything when things aren't going the way you want them to go it just like it just overwhelms you but i think your heart is good right you're stable you're loyal committed you're nurturing you're caring for others you want to be a provider but you're just stuck in this overthinking situation uh, your person is showing up as a higher fund. Your person is showing up as someone who has a very spiritual connection to you. Um, this is a higher level commitment. To me, this is a marriage card. This is a card of traditions, you know, marriage, um, just uh, someone that's very spiritually connected to you. This is definitely a spiritually guided situation. I'm not sure what's going on with your person right now, but they are stressed the F out. <laughs> They are worried, they are stressed, they are full of anxiety, they are feeling like they're not sure what to do to kind of move themselves from this stressful energy. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with your person currently. I think things are going to be coming to light though because we have the moon card, but this person is definitely here for the long haul, right? This is definitely a soul connection. Um, I feel like I feel like maybe honestly... If I'm looking at the cards, you kind of showing up in the devil energy and them being all stressed out, I feel like those might be connected to one another. Um, and then we have the eight of cups. So I feel like that is an ending of this, this stressed out situation between the two of you. I feel like you're going to move from this bowl to this great happiness. So I feel like you're moving away from all the stress, excuse me, all the overthinking, and they're also doing the same. Pardon me. 
Oh, pardon me. Oh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. I feel like Virgo's got similar cards um, in some capacity. I feel like they got an Eight of Cups um, as well. Like you guys are moving together towards happiness. Uh, the connection is showing up as the King of Pentacles to you as the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this is very much a guided counterpart. This is a soul connection. This is a very much a spiritually guided connection between you and this person. It is stable. It is committed. It is loyal. It is loving. It is caretaking. I feel like whatever is, is keeping you guys um, both in this anxiety is going to be exposed. It's going to come to light. This is like using intuition. This is seeing through illusion. So I think whatever's stressing you guys out is going to kind of pass as well. The bottom of the deck energy, we have the emperor. We have the three of wands, the three of pentacles, the fool card. So to me, I feel like, um, you know, this is a provider, a caretaker, authoritative, authoritative kind of personality, the boss kind of energy, but this is also the divine counterpart. So this is the bottom of the deck energy is this is a divinely guided connection, no doubt. Um, it's just full of stress right now. Um, I feel like you guys are looking forward to your happiness. You're both ready and willing to be um, working on this situation together. This is teamwork. This is creating and building and you're ready to kind of take that step very soon with the fool card. You're ready to take that leap of faith together. I, w I mean, I don't really know what all this stress is about. I just see things coming to light. I feel like this is the stress ending. You're walking away from this to go to something better together. Um, and then you've shown up as the King of Pentacles energy. So long-term commitment. Like, it's good. I just don't know what all the stress is about right now. You probably do, though, Sagittarius. Yeah, again, sacred connection, right? Sacred connection and destiny. This this is a divinely guided connection between the two of you. Um, these are my love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot. So we'll see what else pops out for Sagittarius. Very much a destined connection. Very much sacred connection. Very spiritually guided. Twin flame energy. Soulmate energy. Um, there's longing here. And mental entrapment. Yes, this is this is what you and your person are going through. I don't know. But you're longing to be together. You're longing for things to be better. It's going to be. It's going to be. All right, let's get a couple Hermit Tarot channel love messages from the Hermit Tarot deck for Sagittarius. I think we should slow down. That's your energy, Sagittarius. That's your energy about um, with that Knight of Pentacles energy. I think we should go slow. We have there waiting for you. I'm ready. There's someone else. If I follow you, I could lose everything. I would do anything for you. All right, so we have... A zero, three, five, seven, and a ten. I think we should slow down. They are waiting for you. I'm ready. There is someone else. If I follow you, I could lose everything and I would do anything for you. Um, There is someone else, huh? I don't really see that there's someone else. Mm, I really don't see that. So take whatever resonates for you guys and leave the rest. That's one card that popped out, but I don't really see that anywhere else in the read. All right, so we have three cards that just flew out from that White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Message, Volume 2. And it's, I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. That's that longing card. Our connection is so beautiful, and it is also painful and confusing as hell. I think that's all that stress um, and anxiety. I'm drawn to your deep intelligence and wisdom. All right, let's get a couple of love exists vision cards. This is Alice's romance oracle. Messages for Sagittarius. I am who I am. <laughs> If someone's got like that kind of energy, I can't see why that could create some stress. I'm talking about you to others. I'm planning on messaging you soon. All right, guys, let's get some heart songs of the 90s, songs in the key of love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. These are 90s song lyrics. Um, the song itself may resonate with you specifically. It may be a song that you used to like or that you like from the 90s. It could be that it reminds you of this person on your mind as you listen to this read, or it could be that you just need to listen to the lyric 
So let's see what pops out for Sagittarius. This Kiss by Faith Hill. I like this song. I'm going to try not to sing it to you. I'm going to try to read it. Cinderella said to Snow White, how does love get so off course? All I wanted was a white knight with a good heart, soft touch, fast horse. Ride me off into the sunset. Baby, I'm forever yours. It's the way you love me. It's the feeling like this. It's centrifugal motion. It's perpetual bliss. So maybe that's what's going on. Maybe your love is a little off course right now, guys. Um, but I feel like this is definitely a destined true love connection. Um, I see you guys moving forward together, having this king of pentacles energy, having that emperor kind of energy, the divine masculine. So um, thank you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. If not, that's cool too. I appreciate your support. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.